Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the triangle problem. Given a triangle, find the minimum path zone from top to bottom. Each step, you may move to adjacent numbers in the row below. For example, given the following triangle, the minimum path zone from top to bottom is 11. We start here, 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 1. That is equal to 11. Note, bonus point if you are able to do this using only big O and extra space where n is the total number of rows in the triangle. How can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem using dynamic programming. We can initially have a list of integer that is a dp list or a list for dynamic programming and it can be of size n where n is the number of rows in the triangle and initially that list can have all the values in the bottom row and then we can start traversing from the row above which is a position n minus 2 and then we can get the maximum path sum up to row i at position j for example when j equals 0 here by comparing the the numbers at position j and the number at position j plus 1 and picking the minimum and then adding that to the number at position j in this row so in this case if I'm dealing with this row and then j equals 0, this is the number, then I compare the 4 and the 1 and I pick the 1 because it is smaller and then I add it to the 6 and it's 7 and then I put 7 at position, zero, at position 0 in this row. So that's the main idea. And then when I get to the top, I just need to get the minimum of the two sums from the previous row and add it to this number and then I just return dp that gets zero or the first element and that's going to be the final result or the minimum path sum because this will be a position zero when it is calculated so i can reuse i can reuse space i can just use one dp array or one dp list so without further ado i'm going to show you how to write the code first i need a list of integer dp has a value of new array list and then it's going to be a deep copy of triangle that get triangle that size minus one so you can see that the dp list is initially a copy of the bottom row and then i can just say for integer i gets a value of triangle that size minus 2 i is greater than or equal to 0 minus minus i so I will start the iteration from this row and then I will go upward because I already have the bottom row I can start iterating from the from this row and then for every element j I will say for integer j gets a value of 0 j is less than or equal to i plus plus j for every row for the nth row that row has n has n elements so that's why I have to say j less than or equal to i so what I can do is that I can say dp that set the element of position j to be math that mean of dp that get the element of position j and dp that get the element of position j plus one all this plus triangle that get i that get j that get this row and from this row get the element or the number of position j and then by the end of the iteration I just have to return dp that gets zero so I'm going to run the code okay I will submit my solution okay this is working perfectly so the time complexity you can find the time complexity by using mathematical induction for example the first row has one element the second row has two elements and the third has three elements and so on so you can say that the number of elements is one 
plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 or more mathematically you can say it's 1 plus 2 plus all the way to n and by using mathematical induction that is equal to you can prove that that is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and that implies that the time complexity is big of n squared the space complexity satisfies the bonus requirement the space complexity is big O of n, where n is the number of rows in the triangle. You can see that we are only using this DP list as extra space. If you like this video, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.